now, I think the innovations that I'm seeing a lot of is looking at um, really qualitative evaluation and being able to tell a story. So being able to tell stories in your, about your community, about the way you grew up, and having those valued and in the field. So that's the piece that I'm seeing that it's changing a lot, is making sure that the story and the place-based learning is incredibly important. Some of the strategies that we can use to incorporate design thinking, not only in my work, but throughout the organization uh, for our staff. And I'd also like to see uh, some of the design thinking elements uh, be able to be used by our uh, students that we work with uh, from day to day. This work around systems building and advocacy is one of the things that we've been building on for a while, but we're starting to see it as key to what we're doing. So um, I would say that's an innovation as we figure out as a funder how to better support um, advocacy and systems building work. and. Um, and even though we're a small foundation, really work to be a partner at that table, as well as the direct service funding that we've always seen as important. I think what we're seeing is collaboration, um, cross cultures. Uh, what we're seeing in the field are direct uh, efforts to redefine space. Some people see empty lots. Uh, we see uh, urban farms. Some people see an empty lot. We see a community center. Some people see an empty lot. We see uh, a youth empowerment environmental justice center. And so these are innovative uh, approaches that are happening in the field right now we speak. I think that there's a, uh, a greater sense of uh, collaborative uh, feel among different organizations involved in youth work today uh, than there was 20 years ago. There was a real siloing and, and, and protecting of, uh, of, of things within the organizations. And now there's a greater sense of an interest in collaboration and working together. I think it's important, especially in communities of color, to be able to build your power. And so and understand that communities need to have, especially communities of color, need to have that power base and looking at young people to be the core of that base. And so that's what it really is for me, is looking at system change, but really including young people in that process. The biggest innovation, I guess, is the approach, um, and that's getting youth more involved in the decision making and also a more collaborative approach and less ownership of ideas and programming. I think people realize that, you know, when you build the tree, um, it used to be the organizations were at the top and they went down to director, manager, coordinator, youth, and now we realize that the youth are at the top of that triangle, uh, trickling down to, to the ultimate uh, organization. So uh, we really are youth focused and um, they are our future, so they should have some, some say in it and they usually know what they need. And we need to do more of it with young people at our sides, not do the programming and then have young people be the secondary they need to be a part of the process as well. As Park and Recreation Department, we do not, we cannot do the kinds of programming that we need to do, the direct services that we need to be doing for young people in, in a vacuum. I think one of the greatest innovations that we've had at the Brooklyn Bridge Alliance and is really the um, bringing the Brooklyn Youth Council into our organization. Um, our core values at the Alliance are around being dynamic, creative, innovative, um, inclusive, diverse, and, and what our council brings into that perspective is that really different perspective. I mean, and so with that, it, it allows us to be more creative and more innovative as we try to develop solutions.